Let me walk outside to do this intro real quick. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of RAA, and in today's video, we are going to the backwater using live mullet, going for snook, bass, tarp, and it was a kind of a slow day as you'll see. I caught a couple fish, had a lot of blow-ups. It was just, right now, we're having a transition kind of. The, the cold weather's kind of gone. We haven't had cold weather in about a month now, and the warmer weather and the warmer water tents are coming in. But the water, for some reason, even though the warm temperatures are coming in, the water is still somewhat cold. So it's like a mixture of cold and cold water one day and then warm the next. So the fish really don't know what to do. But it's all good. You got to work with what we got. I know this isn't a, uh, what do you call it, PSA or anything like that. But hope everyone is staying safe during this coronavirus BS, all this coronavirus problems. I mean... I, everyone should be taking it seriously. I haven't been taking it seriously, but it's starting to come where I am now, so I have to kind of take it serious because I do have a weak immune system. I was born with it, so hey, but that ain't gonna stop me from fishing. We're still pumping and grinding these videos out, guys. So hope you guys enjoy this one, and let's get straight into it. The frick has teeth. Holy crap, I just got wrecked by something oh. with teeth. Oh my god. He didn't need it. He didn't need it. Oh. Oh my god. He didn't eat it. It's tarpon. I don't care, I just want to catch it. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Did he eat it? No, he did not eat it. There are fish here, man. They're here. They're here and wanting to eat. Just had to take some time and patience and to get them. Oh. Oh, yeah. There he is. Tarpon. Frick yeah, boys. That's what I'm freaking talking about. I didn't think he had it. Ooh, more tarpon over there. I'm gonna coax this tarpon over here to let those ones go so I can get more. Oh yeah. Stay. It's a nice little poon ski. Oh yeah. 
Oh, you probably got the camera soaked. It's a decent sized tarp, not a big tarpon, but tarpon. Look at that, it hooks perfectly right in the core of the mouth. He's not ready to go, I know he's not. There's bigger ones here though. Come here dude. I'll take you all day. And... He's hooked. Oh yeah. Hooks out. Oh right, guys, look at that. Nice little tarpon. There he goes. Oh my god. My thing just got swallowed. As soon as it hit the water. The frick is this thing? Oh, it's a snook. Good snook, too. As soon as that thing ate, hit the water. Taking me in the... He's scaring all the other fish. All right here. Oh, where's he at? Come here, dude. Oh yeah, baby. Lovely. Oh, there's still fish here too. This might be a slot. This is a slot, baby. And I don't know, it might be too small. Got him. Oh, snap. My 40 is frayed up. Afraid. Oh. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you what I was using today. A lot of people ask me what kind of kayak I use, and it's right here. Um, let me let me get it. A little 12 foot kayak. I have added some things on it, and as you can see, I do gotta fix some things such as that and this. Can't really put my paddle anywhere. If you guys wanted, want me to do a full like kayak tour video, I will do it. I haven't really made one, haven't really thought about making one, but if you guys want me to make one, I'll make one. All right, so we're just gonna go over the what I was using. We'll do it very quickly, it's plain and simple. I've been, I use it a lot in my videos. See, we're working with a 3,000 size reel doesn't really matter what company. This just happens to be the Daiwa BG3000. Rod is a six, no, I'm sorry, a seven foot six custom rod. It's a Burr's custom. Uh, they gave me this one, or I paid for it, but they gave me a nice little discount. It's got my, we got 20 pound braid. And I was using 40 pound leader a two aught um, circle hook, not circle hook, a, it was a two aught hook, and we were using live mullet. And we were just sight casting. If I saw a tarpon roll, we pitched right to it. If I saw a snook on the bank or minnows getting busted on, cast right to it, as you guys saw. 
pretty good success. I mean, two fish, slot snook, and a tarpon. It is becoming that time though, like I said in the intro, the, wa the water temperatures are heating up. So that means that these fish are gonna be stacked in the backwaters and stacked in the river. So some good videos of that are coming out soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. And like, subscribe, comment, do all that good YouTube jazz. I appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace out, guys. Yeah.